Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electric. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, now, I have this guy here. This is a crimping tool. And uh, as small as it is, it's really durable indeed. I've used it for a couple of times and uh, it has not disappointed me. Uh, it has a really fine grip. Uh, so when you're holding it in the hand, it's pretty heavy. And believe you me, it can crimp, you know, up to 35 millimeters for, because it comes 35 millimeters, 10, 10 millimeters, and as low as the 0 0.5 uh, millimeter. Now, it has got number of jaws, seven jaws, okay? It has seven jaws, so it depends really on what kind of, uh, you know, pin lag, that, uh, the type that you want to crimp, okay? Uh, now, but uh, I have quite a common one that I want us to, to crimp, and then uh, we see what the result is. Uh, honestly speaking, the precision of this thing, uh, it's good, it's good. Uh, despite the fact that I have not interacted with, you know, other type of crimping tool apart from the hydraulic one. Uh, but from where I see it, it's pretty cool. The, jo uh, the joints and the pin and lugs that I have made so far, they're electrically sounding. So everything looks uh, good. It's something that uh, if you're on a cushion there and you do a lot of, you know, cable crimping, you know, you could have something like this. It is quite durable and it's really pretty uh, good, okay? All right, now, one thing you have to know that you have sets of jaws on this thing, okay? Uh, sets of jaws that you can change uh, easily, okay? Now, uh, it's something that you have, we have, you know, some uh, knobs here with something you can press. So you just press and put, and that's it. You see? Then the other cool thing also, when you're crimping, because as I said, 10 millimeter uh, cable, it's something sometimes which is really heavy. You need to apply a force there. So as you squeeze, uh, this tool, it will not release. Like you're still squeezing, it won't release until you reach the maximum. So even if you're using one hand and then later, you release or you have one to rest, it will still hold the force. So until maybe you add your two hands and you squeeze to the maximum, that's when it will release for you to, you know, to remove the cable. So you can easily uh, remove, you press and, you know, uh, remove, and you can easily put uh, something else like that. Press also this side like that. And then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, uh, crimp another type of cable. Uh, now, I have something else here that I want us to, to try something here. Uh, let me change the jaws here quickly. Okay, so this is what I need to use. Okay, now, what I want to show you is this. This is a pin, 2.5, okay? So, uh, uh, these things are not really expensive. So, when you're doing your connection is, uh, for example, you're doing a control circuit, and instead of, you know, uh, uh, screwing in a cable like this, just a wire like this, sometimes it's not even firm in there, you could have, you know, uh, crimp this. Uh, it's very safe because you'll have a specific length of a pin that will get inside a contactor and then you have this cable right here so that you would not, you know, mess your circuit. Okay, so this is 2.5 and uh, we can look for 2.5 and we put it uh, right here, okay? Right here, uh, you want to give it, okay. Okay. Uh, if that happens, then you have to, okay, like that. And then 
it will hold maximum like that and then you have to squeeze now to release now you see that's nice can probably give you a closer look Okay, so that's not uh, bad. So now you can remove the excess. Sometimes you can cut the strands at once, but uh, for me, I, I don't mind. The strands can be long, and then later I can cut the exact, you know, I want. Okay, now just there like that, and, and you see, uh, I've cut that and that's something that is smart so when you when it's in your contactor or in your control circuit it will really look smart okay all right then you will have uh, a smaller wire this is uh, one uh, one millimeter okay so you have a cable already now again, instead of screwing this one, in, even in lamp holders, you could just use something like this. Okay, very firm, and then you put it here. Uh, okay, and then we go ahead and it press. Now this one also is same. Okay, you see, very firm very very firm and it's pretty cool okay so you have excess wire you can just you cut it and you're cool okay now uh the last one would be uh something like something like this so you have something huge like that okay And this, you need a jaw like this, so we will just remove this just quickly. Put this, and we have a wire here. Okay, and now just Put here like this. Okay, and you can see I'm really applying force. You see, so now I'm going to use my two hands. Okay, ah, now we are at the last. Okay, now. So, this is the final results. And very firm, okay? So, this is something usable. <laughs> this is something pretty usable. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I hope... Uh, you know, you've learned something there. Now, uh, guys out there, electricians, uh, please, you can go and acquire this thing. Uh, you can easily find it on AliExpress. Yes, it, you know, you can easily find anything on, on that site uh, if you can't find it somewhere near you, okay? But it's super cool. Uh, you can do uh, lots of joints, you know, uh, 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 and that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and share. And uh, feel free to like and to share. Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm out.